Hi, this is Rick from Rick's Daily Tips Tech Blog. If you recently transitioned from using Windows 7 to either Windows 10 or Windows 11, you've probably noticed that the control panel has been removed from the start menu. The thing is, the control panel is still there, but Microsoft has simply decided to, decided to hide it for whatever reason. It's actually pretty easy to find a control panel in the most recent versions of Windows if you know where to look. The control panel is already on my screen, but I'm going to close it and show you how to find it and open it. First, click the Start button, and then type the word Control. Now you should see the control panel listed in the search results, and right there it is. At this point, you can simply click on Control Panel and open it directly, but you also have the option of adding it to the Start menu. That would make it easy to open the control panel at any time simply by clicking on this icon. To do that, just right click on control panel and click pin to start. Now I'll close it. Now I'm going to click start, click the start menu again, or start button, and there's the start menu, and there's control panel. At this point, you can click it, and there it loads. Very easy, very quick. That's all there is to finding and opening the control panel in Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now that we have that out of the way, let me say this. For some time now, Microsoft has been slowly moving various settings from the control panel to the settings app. In fact, most every time they release a major Windows update, it seems like they've moved another setting or two to its new home in the settings app. I could be wrong, but I believe they're planning to eventually move all the settings that are currently in the control panel to the settings app and then ditch the control panel altogether. If it's been some time since you've actually used the control panel on a Windows PC, there's a good chance that at least a few of the settings you'll want to change have already been moved from the control panel to the settings app. Therefore, if you find that a setting you're looking for is no longer in the control panel, just open the settings app and look for it there. You'll almost certainly find it in short order. And just in case you haven't used it yet, you can quickly open the settings app by right-clicking the start button and then select settings from the menu. And there's the settings app. Alternatively, you can, you can simply press the Windows plus I key combination that will also open the settings app. And there it is. If you found this tip useful, please hit like and subscribe if you'd like to help other, other people find my tips. Thanks very much.